My name is Jordan Young. I'm a track and field thrower from Canada. For over a decade, I've been working to understand every aspect of throwing. I'm an athlete, which means the only way to be great is through raw hard work and determination. This is my story. I'm going to be taking on one of athletics' biggest challenges, the Olympic Games. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of JY Throws. I'm very excited for today's video because I've had a lot going on over the past week, and I want to give you guys some updates on some things that I'm doing to progress my training. And after that, I want to move into some technical analysis of Daniel Stahl from his competition in Doha this past year, where he had all six of his throws over 69.50. And to wrap things up, I started throwing a little bit of shot put, so I want to start to cover some of the cues and things that I'm thinking about in shot put. So last week from October 6th to October 12th, I was in Munich, Germany to see a doctor to work on my back. And last time I was here in June, he said that between L5 and S1 in my spine, the disc was protruding on both the left and the right side. And now coming back a few months later, he says that he sees significant progress in my spine. And the biggest change that I've made has been doing stairs to help strengthen my hips and my back. And now that I'm back in Charlottesville and the doctor's cleared my spine and says that he's seeing good progress, I want to try to ramp up the stairs and see if I can take it to the next level because I really like this for an exercise to strengthen everything. So I've started using a weight vest. All right, just about to set you guys up for another stair session. Got the 30 pound vest on, 40 minutes coming up. So the weight vest that I'm using actually has enough pockets in it to build it up to 80 pounds eventually. But right now, 30 pounds felt like a good weight to add enough extra resistance to my legs to make them feel nice and jello-y again after 40 minutes. And after a week of using the 30 pound vest, it already wasn't having the same effect. So next week I wanna bump it up, probably move to 40 pounds and I'm just gonna keep going as long as my knees and my back continue to feel good. And the second big update that I wanna give you guys is that the day that I got back from Germany, I was able to hire someone to start cooking for me and she's been killing it, making some bomb meals and doing some great meal prep. So I'm really excited to see the impact that that has on my training. And within the first week, just making sure that I had good snacks all the time, I've seen a nice boost in energy levels. And then hopefully I can turn that energy into some extra strength and use that extra strength for some extra distance. But now I want to move on to Daniel Stahl's throws and analyze a bit of his technique. Because as I get more into full throws, I want to constantly refresh what good technique is in my mind. So by looking at the best throwers in the world, I can see positions that I want to try to hit, get a feel for their rhythm, so I figured that I'd make a video on it so I can show you guys as I'm trying to relearn some of these positions again for myself. So to start things off, I want to play through all of the competition throws. And after each round, I'll play back that round in slow motion. So that if you want to watch through this part of the video multiple times, there's some slow-mo in there and some regular speed. But there's a couple things that I want to quickly point out while this is playing through that I'm going to slow down and cover more in depth afterwards. But just to get your mind thinking about it, Pay attention to how long he reaches over his left side out of the back. And then almost as soon as he touches down in the middle, he's got his block foot ready to go and get down. And then he establishes an awesome block and keeps that block leg on the ground until the discus has released from his hand. So to show you guys some of the positions that I see Stahl doing very well, I want to compare them to my throw from this week and show you some of the positions that I'm missing and explain why that's causing me some power loss. And it may be some things that you can see in your own throw and try to work on for yourself. So the first position that I want to point out is right here out of the back. And you can already see that I'm letting my sweep leg drag behind. So my hips are dropping back into the circle right now. And I've got to drag that leg around compared to Stahl, where he's actively using it to drive him over his pivot leg so that his center of mass is headed that direction. So that's carrying him around to the middle. And notice his sweep leg headed that direction keeps his posture upright nice and tall. He's hitting the middle of the circle and he's rotating a lot better compared to my technique where having to pull my leg from behind me with my center of mass shifting back into the circle, 
I lost a lot of rotation and I missed the middle of the circle. And now you can see how leaving that sweep leg behind has already put me in a much different position than Stahl. And once again, I'm starting to now drag my block leg. Comparing it to Stahl's technique, he's hit the middle nice and tall. His block leg is already nice and close. And that's actively headed down to the ground right now to get a nice block. And since mine's dragging behind, I've got to now pull that down to the ground. Wasting time where he's already got both feet on the ground and is applying force into the implement. And while he's on the ground applying force to the implement, I've got all this time and then I'm just now getting the block and he's already halfway done his finish. So my big goal for next practice is to make sure that out of the back, I'm being more active with my sweep leg and using that to help shift my center of mass over top of my pivot leg so that I can hit a nice tall posture in the middle and get my block leg down faster. And it's gonna take a bunch of throws and this is one of the top guys in the world. So I don't expect it to look like him instantly, but it's nice to have a good objective of what I wanna aim for because going into practice with cues in mind is very helpful to having a nice productive practice. So now I want to move into some of my throws from this week, and I'm just going to pull up some of the better ones because I've already done a technical analysis of things that I'm missing. But the thing that I have been working on is getting that nice block on the finish and trying to get a nice weight transfer up and over top of that block leg. Good posture. Get that block foot down. keeping a nice vertical posture so I can rotate on that leg nicely and get a nice block. Today I'm going to be trying out some shot put again, see how my wrist holds up, see how the shoulder's feeling, and hopefully this is the beginning of a new chapter of JY throws. Starting things off, making sure the shoulder's nice and warm, so I'm going to do some slams into the ground, working on getting a nice snap onto my fingers on the finish. I'm going to be moving on now to some easy stand throws, and I'm just working on feeling the kinetic chain move through my body as I get stretched through my core and use that to just help me snap the ball out a little bit on the finish. And I'm just trying to go really easy, get everything nice and warm and loose. Moving on to stand throws, and right now I just want to feel a nice transfer of weight. And shot put, I'm going to be getting it a little bit lower than discus, where I'm trying to keep a taller posture. So from that down nice and low to up over my block leg. Trying to keep the ball on a nice rotational path so I can accelerate it to the finish. Finish nice and level with my shoulders. So on the finish, everything comes through together. This off arm is tall. The 
last one, best one. Nice and long path for the shop put to be on so I can have the longest time to accelerate it. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up today's video here. Thank you very much for watching. It feels so good to be back in the ring throwing some shot put. I've got some good things to work on in my discus technique, and I'm trying to take care of all my rehab and nutrition and everything that I can do to have the most successful year possible. So if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one.